from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Construction and industry service and technology provider Hilti South Africa is offering two innovative technologies, the HIT Z-Rod and advanced on-site testing to ensure safety and reliability for chemical fasteners. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Hilti South Africa Head of Engineering Christian Daffel tells Engineering News that Hilti developed these two technologies in response to specific client needs to help overcome challenges posed by chemical fasteners. Daffel explains that while chemical fasteners boast a high load capacity and bond strength, they are sensitive to correct installation. During installation of chemical fasteners, it is vital that holes drilled into base materials be cleaned thoroughly. However, this required level of quality control is not always possible or implemented. Therefore, Hilti developed the HIT Z-Rod to overcome this. So this technology is a specialized fastener for a chemical anchor. It's called the Hilti HIT Z-Rod chemical fastener or chemical rod for fasteners. Now what would make this fastener unique is obviously the shape. As you can see from the shape of this, a normal fastener would have a shape like this with a normal threaded rod. The fastener that we have obviously has a different check. The technology of this fastener has a lot of benefits for the customer. The first benefit is that it doesn't have to clean the hole, which is normally a challenge for chemical anchors or for chemical fasteners. Now the fact that he doesn't have to clean the hole firstly gives an engineer peace of mind that whatever he designs is going to actually end up being the performance of whatever fastening solution he designs. The second benefit of this technology is obviously increased productivity because now you take all cleaning out of the equation uh, which allows you to uh, do a lot more fasteners in the same amount of time period. The third benefit is actually from an engineering point of view. Because you're getting a higher tensile capacity on this as well, compared to a normal chemical fastener, you can actually reduce the embedment, which is actually a function of the tensile capacity that can be achieved. Now, because you reduce the embedment, um, you can go for concrete members that are slightly thinner and achieve a higher loading capacity on that as well. Also, the benefit of that is you're using less chemical. Now, when you're using less chemical, there's an overall cost saving as well. So there are various benefits and advantages, both from an engineering design point of view, as well as from an installation point of view, guys doing the installation, as well as the overall cost of ownership point of view. So the technology of this solution is actually great for engineer, contractor, and overall cost point of view of the project. This technology was developed uh, as part of our engineering solutions and systems that we developed. These solutions and systems that we develop happens at our European head offices. So these technologies were developed there. These technologies have been available in South Africa for about three and a half years now. We've had this technology available in South Africa. In South Africa, yes, as far as we know, Yilti is the only company that offers this technology. The second part of the technology that we had a look at today was called the on-site testing. Uh, we've got the HAT28 tester, the HAT30 tester. And this basically entails, you know, just to, to do some proof load, non-destructive or destructive testing on site uh, to determine the capacity of the anchor in maybe an unknown base material, for example. Uh, the guys would normally want to have a capacity um, to design with, for instance, in rock, which is not available because it's not a, it's not a very common base material. So we would therefore then um, opt for on-site testing to determine the actual resistance of the anchor in, in an unknown base material. We also offer the service. We do, do not actively promote it as, as in service to determine uh, anchors in a common base material like concrete um, because ILTI spends a lot of uh, research and development and funds at the end of the day to develop these, these tensile and shear capacities. So uh, although we don't actively promote it, we do have this uh, as, an, as an offered service for those instances for data quality or unknown base materials. This specific service has been offered uh, many years by Hilti, but recently we've introduced the brand new technology where we have the support from, from a global side. We also have the mobile app, and this has been offered uh, this year, after quarter one, I would say. So it's a fairly new service in terms of the brand new technology when it comes to this, this type of testing method. For this new service, Hilti undertakes testing with the device using an electric gauge, which is connected to a phone via Bluetooth. The data gleaned is uploaded to a global server using Hilti's phone app. The data is analyzed and returned to engineers in terms of design consistencies in accordance with global testing standards, which the engineers can then use to design solutions.
The market response is very well because the guys actually use it more often for data quality or just to determine or to verify whether the anchors were installed adequately by the contractor. Therefore, we've introduced the service. It's been well received by the market, I would say. And then in addition to that, we can establish the performance of an anchor in an unknown base material. It's actually mathematically derived from the test data that we obtain from, from, from the test. So we can support the consulting engineer for, for, for designing purposes. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.